Hey folks, David Ross here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to measure the DC resistance of a guitar pickup. I have a few different examples that I'm going to share with you, so if you're interested in learning how to do this, stick around and let's get into it. Okay, so in order to do this, you'll need two things. One is a multimeter and the other is a guitar pickup that you want to measure. One thing to note is that I'm using an auto-ranging multimeter. And if you're using a manual multimeter, you'll need to set it accordingly. Usually 20k ohms will cover the vast majority of guitar pickups. So the first thing I'm going to do is set it to the ohm setting. I'm going to take the black plug and connect it to common, and the red to the positive input jack. The first pickup I'm going to measure is the Stratocaster single coil pickup. I'll take the black probe, connect it to black. Take the red probe and connect it to red. And in this case, you'll see a DC resistance of 5.4k ohms. Typically on a Strat pickup, you'll see a measurement close to 6k ohms. For a humbucker with two wires coming off of it, the process is very much the same. Take the black probe and connect it to the ground wire. The red probe connects to hot. And in this case, it's 15.4k ohms. If instead of this red casing you had a braided shield wire coming off of it, all you would do is connect the black to the shield and it would give you a measurement. For a humbucker with four conductor wires, it can be slightly more complicated. Each pickup manufacturer has their own color code that shows which wires serve which function. If you want to measure the total DC resistance of a humbucker with four conductor wires, you'll need to look up this code for whichever pickup you're measuring. In this case, I'm going to be measuring a Seymour Duncan style humbucker. So what you do here is you twist the red and white wires together, you twist the bare and the green wires together, and then your black wire is hot. So for this pickup, I'm going to take the black probe and connect it to green and bare, and the red probe I'm going to connect to the black wire, and this gives me a DC resistance of about 6.9K. Occasionally you'll get a pickup with three wires coming off of it. You have a ground and then a start and a finish. What you do here, if you want to measure it, is just measure the start and the finish leads. And in this case, it's about 11.9K. Another example of this is when one of the leads is hot and the other is a center tap but this is a fairly uncommon configuration. Occasionally, I'll want to measure the DC resistance of a guitar pickup inside of a guitar, and so what I did was I took this guitar cable and I soldered leads to the ends of it. I can then take my probes and attach it to the leads, and then I can measure the DC resistance of any pickup inside of the guitar. Another way to achieve this is to connect your probes to the end of a guitar cable. You take the black probe and connect it to the ground, and the red probe connected to the tip, and this will give you a reading as well. So that's it for now. I hope that you found this video useful, and if you did, feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks.